Hi everyone, in this video we're going to go over B2B website design and what to consider for a successful B2B website. So a B2B website is one of the most valuable tools for marketing within B2B organization. Um, with curated B2B website design, your website can rank really highly on search engines, increase traffic, generate more sales and become a really resourceful and um, become a resource of support for its targeted businesses. Um, so B2B uh, stands for business to business and a B2B business is a situation where one business makes a commercial transaction with another. This typically occurs when a business is sourcing materials for their products um, for their production process uh, for output. So for example, providing raw materials to the other company that will produce the output. So for example, manufacturing materials, clothing, car parts, and uh, are all businesses that sell materials and they will sell them to other businesses who will then produce the output using those materials. The global B2B e-commerce market is five times the size of a B2C one, so a business to customer one. Um, it is a thriving market, but if you search for examples of B2B e-commerce site, you might run into sort of outdated, inflexible B2B websites that don't look anything like you'd want to look for for, for your customers. B2B websites need a different marketing approach compared to B2C web websites. They need bespoke functionality, they need different content, they need alternative user interfaces. A B2B website needs to make business sense for audiences. It should focus on how your product or service can help their industry and assist with their organizational process. So at Profile Tree, we know how to design B2B websites that sell products um, or services that engage meaningfully with other businesses. We position your brand's business as a place for quality merchandise and, use, and useful industry information. So as mentioned before, a B2B business, business to business, um, website is a type of e-commerce website where businesses sell their products, services to other businesses. Um, like, for example, a waste disposal company that sells their machinery to other businesses that need it. Uh, for example, a tire shredder machine for a mechanics business um, and things like that. Um, and this is different to a B2C website, so a business to customer website. Um, where is, where, uh, which is a typical type of e-commerce website where businesses sell their products, services directly to the customer. Um, an example of this could be an online jewelry store that sells jewelry pieces to the general public. What is the difference between B2B website design and B2C website design? Um, there's really just one big difference and in how you market to other businesses and how you market to general customers. Each group has different needs and different purchasing processes, um, meaning that B2B websites are a bit more specialized compared to B2C web website design. Um, and some of the main differences uh, between B2B website design and B2C website design includes things like call to action. As a general rule of thumb, all e-commerce websites, um, with call to actions, all e-commerce websites should include some form of call to action in order to encourage visitors to complete their purchases. Um, within B2C websites, like this one, for example, the Mattel website, um, they have lots of uh, call to actions for shop. So um, shop now, shop all. These are all call to actions, and the action that they want the user to take is um, to shop their products. B2C website focus on a lot on impulse purchasing and encourage a quicker purchasing process. Um, so with uh, this example, um, when they are viewing sort of products on their shop all pages, um, it's really quick to just click on a product um, and then uh, add to cart, um, add to basket quite easily, and then just to quickly just proceed to checkout. So they make the design and the overall uh, functionality of it very simple because the main thing that they want you to do is to select a product purchase and quickly go to the checkout and fill in your information. Um, so it is there is a um, big focus on impulse purchasing and, and spending. Um, within B2C websites, a call to action tends to be in the form of flashy discounts that are ending soon. So big like sale items um, and things like that. Um, so with B2B web websites, it's a little bit different. With B2B websites, the call to action is formatted a little bit differently because of the purchasing process being a lot longer than that of a general customer. Because within businesses, it's usually more than one person agreeing to the expense. Business purchases have to be kind of rationally thought out, budgeted and approved. And this in turn affects the visitor's 
um, entire purchasing process for products and services within B2B organizations. Um, like for example, my Crevo wholesale, um, you can see um, the setup is a little bit different. The layout is a little bit uh, different as well. Um, with B2B websites, the call to action um, is different as well. Um, there's also sometimes a need for a communication ex exchange between the two businesses to take place. This exchange establishes sort of purchasing goals, quantity, price, and support. A call to action within B2B websites can encourage the visitor to get in contact with a sales rep, usually through a contact form or booking uh, in form for a consultation. Um, so like this ex website, for example, um, they do have options for uh, adding to cart, but they also have a very quick and easy contact um, section where that's on every single page, a uh, phone number for them to call or text. They give you lots of uh, channels of communication. They also have their live chat support as well, um, where you can talk to uh, customer support um, and leave a message and things like that. So there's that's a slight difference in B2B design between B2B design and B2C design is that the support channel tends to be a lot more open and a lot more easy to get to with B2B businesses as it's more likely that businesses will need to talk to um, the business that they're buying buying from um, in order to actually make the purchase. Um, a call to action uh, within the B2B businesses is more subtle and it's measured compared to uh, B2C websites. Uh, B2B websites perform uh, a lot of guidance and hand-holding, meaning that they guide their visitors throughout their whole purchasing process, uh, providing lots of information, content, and tailored support. When it comes to content, usually a business purchase will have to be approved by a senior authority within the company, and they will want to know detailed information about their um, uh, about their products that they're buying as well. And you'll see a lot more information on their products um, on a B2B website as opposed to B2C websites. When content creating for B2B websites, it's also worth investing in high resolution images, videos that you set aside from competition and highlight the features of your pr product or service. Um, content should also answer all of the queries businesses might have surrounding your product or service, ensuring the visitor is well informed. B2B customers should view your website content and feel confident that your product service will provide them with a return on their investment and improve their organization's processes. Um, an example of some things that will be on uh, B2B websites uh, and content will include uh, reviews and testimonials. So you'll see some of their products will have some reviews as well, um, but they'll have a section for testimonials um, somewhere linked on their site where people can read between um, other businesses' experience with the, this business that you're considering buying from. They will also have lots of articles and videos on how to use their products in the most effective way um, so that you're able to give the best advice to your own customers as well. Um, so that's another bit of content that will be different to B2, from B2B to B2C's businesses. Um, they'll also have a frequently asked question sections and you can also have this in B2C businesses, but this will be a lot more in depth and a lot more useful with the B2B businesses. Um, so we'll have lots of responses to frequently asked questions and it'll be something that will come kind of be updated as well. Um, and it'll have lots of different kind of, um, it'll have a different kinds of questions on it than uh, B2C would, businesses would have, um, especially in terms of uh, pricing, minimum order pricing, um, invoicing for company payment, things like that. Um, Another thing that uh, B2B websites will have that's kind of similar to uh, B2C uh, content, um, but just different kinds of content, is uh, industry articles and blogs. You'll see on this website, for example, they even have a full-on resources section where they have blogs and articles relating to the type of products that they have um, and relating to um, the type of businesses that they are as well. So they're very like industry quality uh, articles and blogs um, as well. So Again, this is all part of guiding the user into making, into choosing them as their wholesaling business, but also guiding them throughout the checkout and check-in process um, and making sure that they are getting the product exactly, they're getting the exact product that they need. Um, and they have sort of um, that kind of quality as well. Um, another thing that 
another bit of content that uh, B2B businesses will have is making sure that they have high quality images of their products. Um, and uh, even in some cases, they might even have some videos, um, but even within the uh, images as well, they'll have like uh, infographics as well to explain the product a bit better. Um, they'll have how to videos so that you know exactly how to use this product and then therefore, and on top of that, then how to market the product. Um, and if possible, some before and after results of using the product. So um, very similar bits of content to what you would have in a B2C, but still, but still written differently for B2B businesses. A B2B website design agency should be able to advise you on which pieces of content would be suited for your website specifically. A full service agency like uh, us here at Profile Tree, we will also create the content for you and show you how to create the content in the future. Another big difference between B2B website and B2C website design is the tone that's being used. B2C websites tend to include a lot of emotive language, um, descriptive, descriptive words like stylish, trendy, in season. The tone really attempts to personally connect uh, with the audience and encourage an emotional investment from the website visitor. Within B2B websites, the tone is much more direct, informative and factual using more actioning words and phrases, um, like for example, improving performance or increasing efficiency. Uh, the tone provides a really coherent argument for purchasing the product and service and makes a business sense to the visitor. At Profile Tree, we are experts in designing both B2B and B2C websites, or a combination of the two, whatever your business needs are. We will create a website to suit your organizational goals and treat and increase your website's performance. Um, for more tips and tricks on how to digitally market your B2B organization, we uh, just check out this blog uh, on our website. So it just explains B2B digital marketing essentials and it gives you a complete guide for B2B marketing. So when it comes to B2B web design services, uh, you need to know sort of what a B2B website design will service will give you. So a B2B web, web design agency will help you create a bespoke B2B website that performs well within the online market. B2B websites are a little more complicated to design than B2C websites as they require much more detail and a lot more complex functionality. Some of the services that a B2B website design offers include uh, SEO practices, uh, user interface functionality, um, and things like that. So for example, with user interface, the user interface includes everything within the website that visitors will interact with. Um, a B2B website design agency will have a range of tools and expertise to create a suitable user interface engaging for B2B customers. Um, some of the usual user interface features of a B2B website will include modern design, minimalist homepage appearance, minimal color scheme, high quality images and videos, um, information videos, detailed information in the appropriate website sections and testimonial excerpts. A B2B web design agency will know how to format your website content in a visually appealing way for B2B businesses. They improve the user interface to provide easy navigation and convenient browsing for website visitors. Functionality is uh, another really important aspect of B2B businesses as they, as uh, if the website's coding is poorly constructed, this may lead to outdated web pages and improper navigational paths. A website that is frustrating to use will lose visitors and fall, and it will fall down in search engine rankings. Um, a B2B website design will ensure that the website functions properly. At Profile Tree, we are a full service uh, agency with a team of web developers um, who are experts in web developing and design. We can handle a wide range of website functionality issues and ensure that your website provides an enjoyable experience for B2B customers. Some of the best B2B website designs are the simplistic ones. B2B customers are not seeking entertainment. They are seeking key facts, important information, and convenient navigation. Um, so some examples of good B2B website design includes Sage. Sage is an online uh, accounting firm that offers other businesses their accounting services. So in so this type of so this is a B2B business, but it's not uh, selling a physical tangible product. It's selling a service. 
Um, their B2B tech design uses very little text, um, and but their text highlights really kind of key information um, that they want either users to know, their potential customers to know. They also use a small selection of colors um, for their color scheme, including black, white, and green. So they don't. So their website isn't overloaded with um, a bunch of different colors and can be, and make it very distracting. Their web design also organizes information incredibly well. B2B website customers are able to navigate the Sage website within within their own industry. So if you go by solutions, um, it's a really easy way for them to go select the industry that they are in and then go from there. So it's a really good kind of guiding process, the way they've designed their nav bar. Helping business to business customers sort through the content sort through the content and making sure that they quickly get to the content that they need to get to um, as soon as fast as possible is is key in uh, B2B website design. Another example of a B2B business selling a service as opposed to an actual product is Bamboo HR. So Bamboo HR is an online software that businesses can use to manage their in-house HR practices. Uh, their, their B2B web design of Bamboo HR is very business centric, highlighting their unique uh, selling point, elevating, um, and they highlight their unique selling point of elevating uh, employee excellence, which is what their uh, USP is. Their B2B design uses really uh, engaging vis visuals of really happy customers um, and employees to encourage um subtle call to actions like get a demo, try it for free, uh, take a video tour. Um, their main call to action is to get people to try out their software. And then from there, they can uh, essentially pitch to uh, buying their service as a whole. Um, Bamboo HR also uses the dominant color green in a variety of different shades for the website design. Uh, the B2B design communicates value for a wide range of B2B customers. Um, so again, it's a really good um, example of good B2B website design um, and everything is sort of laid out nicely as well. Um, in terms of their nav bar, you can sort of, they put their actual software first and they can go by what their software needs. So if you're a business that is looking for a specific type of HR software, they can go into this website and just immediately go by whatever their um having trouble with or whatever they need help with and whatever service that they actually want. So again, it's a really good way of handholding um, your potential client and guiding them to the exact place where they need to be in order to encourage them to um, get an action in order, in order to uh, encourage them to uh, use your service or use your products and use your business essentially. Um, another website uh, that is a, that, that shows good, a B2B website, except this time they are selling actual physical products, is MX Wholesale. So MX Wholesale is a wholesaler based within the UK. They provide a wide range of retail products for traders to purchase and then sell within their stores. The B2B web design is very product focused. So this is their homepage and you can see immediately um, they have their uh, products uh, clearance on sale as well. Um, and then you have their actual products featured on their homepage as well. Um, and you can see their products immediately, their best sellers, their favorite, things like that. Um, or if needed, they can uh, go by categories. So if you're a potential business and you obviously know what kind of what kind of category your, your products needs are going to fall into, you can do it by product as well. Um, they highlight the right the range of brands available, and they place a lot of emphasis on product costs. So things like mega sale up to fifty percent off, um, featured products, savings, all of that, um, and how much savings are within each product. Um, as mentioned before, so the B two B web design um, categorizes their merchandise into specific categories, and this helps B two B customers sort through their products and find what they need. Um, it designs a website content around their B2B customer's main concern, the price, and makes for a convenient process for B2B customers purchasing um, stock. So here at Profile Tree, uh, we are a website development and design agency. We're based in Belfast. 
Um, our clients come from all over across Ireland and the UK, and we take a lot of pride in our strong record of helping local, regional and national businesses compete online with incredibly des well-designed websites. Um, as a local business, we also address local concerns like Brexit and the cost of living, and we help other businesses address those concerns to their B2B customers. And we also help our B2B customers connect with other local businesses and develop profitable partnerships. So if you're um, a B2B business and you are looking for help to design a B2B uh, des focused web design, contact us today um, to get web design expertise and to join our growing list of UK and Ireland clients.